my name is uh, Sheffer C G Zhen, S C H E F F E R, C G middle initials, Zhen T S E N G. Mm -hmm. My professional title is uh, M D PhD, mm -hmm. and uh, my prof and my work title, I'm based on the my uh, responsibility. Uh, at the Ocular Surface Center, I serve as a medical director. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, in the company, Tissue Tech, I serve, uh, I serve as a chief scientific officer. Mm -hmm. My work can be uh, divided in three parts. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, first, I'm an uh, I'm a ophthalmologist, mm -hmm. a surgeon. Mm -hmm. So my uh, primary uh, work there uh, at Ocular Surface Center is to treat the patients with uh, very difficult uh, eye surface diseases. And, uh, uh, and uh, so my practice is a relatively uh, referral practice mm -hmm. uh, to see patients who usually suffer from very difficult or complicated and uh, ocular surface diseases. Mm -hmm. And so patient can come from locally, but oftentimes from far away. Mm. And uh, my job there is to tr to help the patient uncover the vision. So I would do a number of uh, the reconstructive procedures, okay. and many of which uh, have been developed by by myself okay. over the years. The reconstructive procedures in, uh, in I, the, uh, that I particularly uh, contribute uh, will be the stem cell transplantation. Stem from, cell transplantation? Uh, to bring the stem cell from the patient's own or other people's mm -hmm. uh, to the diseased eye. So that is uh, one area I pioneered okay. a long time ago. And uh, followed by that, uh, all my our major contribution is to bring the amionic membrane transplantation. Amionic membrane is the birth tissue mm -hmm. in the placenta after birth. We are able to use that for uh, as a tissue transplantation to help uh, the patient to recover a healthy uh, eye surface. Uh, that can be done independently or in conjunction with uh, I mean, I remember uh, with the stem cell transplantation. Okay. So the, those are the two procedures uh, that uh, we have uh, uh, pioneered and later on uh, recognized by um, the, our Medicare system mm -hmm. as the standard procedures now today. Okay. So that's uh, my our major contribution. So uh, the, in the in the company uh, where I'm primarily uh, working uh, under is the uh, Tissue Tech, which is the parent company mm -hmm. of uh, actually two subsidiaries. Okay. One is BioTissue, which is in the commercial entity okay. uh, in the eye space, and the other company uh, called uh, Amniox Medical. Uh, incorporated. This company uh, is located in my uh, Atlanta, uh, which is also the subsidiary of Tissue Tech, and uh, the company is a commercial entity uh, serving in the uh, orthopedic and the wound space. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, f under the Tissue Tech, I serve as a chief scientific officer. Okay. So I have two primary responsibilities there. One is I'm in charge of uh, the research and development, product development, commercialization of the, the, our pipeline. So that is under the research mm -hmm. environment. And uh, for in that particular uh, responsibility, uh, we, I serve as a scientist. So I lead a team right now close to around 25. Uh, and uh, uh, our uh, research work uh, is, primar uh, is par supported in part by, by grants from the National Institute of Health, okay. uh, the NIH. Mm -hmm. 
um, but also supported uh, now a great deal part by the company uh, through its uh, annual revenues uh, we, 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 we generate. So oh, that's, okay. the, that's the research part. So, and the third part is uh, commercial entities that uh, I serve as uh, the board, I chairman of the board in the company, so I, I have to participate in the business management as well. Um, and making some uh, executive decisions. Our primary product at this point is a so-called tissue product. Tissue. Uh, yeah, under the it's categorized by the FDA as uh, HCTP. That means a human cell tissue product. Okay. Uh, this is a category uh, <clears throat> different from drug or mm -hmm. device. Uh, and uh, so it is um, mm, tissue. We have uh, produced a product based on human uh, birth tissue. Human birth tissue. So that means the placenta mm -hmm. uh, that has been um, after birth mm -hmm. usually will be thrown away. Mm. We are able to take advantage of that tissue mm -hmm. and trans, uh, transform and trans, uh, into several products. And uh, that will be either based on the t area called amionic membrane, mm -hmm. which is the sac, and then the, the core, it's called umbilical core, the core tissue. Uh, both uh, 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 put the, uh, locations, both tissues, from the placenta, we can are able to um, to transform into uh, products with a sheet mm -hmm. configuration, or uh, we can uh, convert it into a powder, becomes uh, sprayable and or injectable, mm -hmm. and also gel that uh, can be applied. Okay. So it's different configurations. Uh, so those are the products we generate, and, and then also we are in the eye, we are able to take the membrane and make into like a contact lens. So we can apply that uh, uh, similar to a contact lens, a product we call Pocara, and that allowed us to treat the patient very conveniently without bringing the patient to the operating room. Mm -hmm. And altogether, our objective of all this product no matter it's in the eye space or other uh, spaces in the body, is to promote the, the wound healing. Uh, and to promote the in wound healing in such a way, almost taking the strategy we learned in, uh, from the fetal wound healing. Mm -hmm. Fetal wound healing turns out very different from adult wound healing. Mm -hmm. We, our wound healing strategy is not very effective tend to be incomplete, or it will be excessive and end up with scarring. Mm -hmm. We believe that fetal wound healing, which is very different from adult wound healing, it tends to be regenerative without, with minimal no scar. Mm -hmm. So we take that strategy, we call fetal strategy, mm -hmm. and using this birth tissue, and then we use that product with different configurations mm -hmm. and apply it to different locations of the body and to make that tissue healing, particular tissue healing, uh, uh, in a, uh, a much better either speed or the better outcome. Uh, but we have applied it so far in the eye space very okay. successfully, and which is a, a tissue with a very demanding uh, higher requirement. Mm -hmm. Because the core, the eye cannot be, cannot tolerate any scar, mm -hmm. even it's healed. Okay. So we we strive for the very high standard mm -hmm. successfully in the eye. Now we move to other parts of the body. For example, in the skin, when you have an ulcer in the skin, we now also show the similar results. Mm -hmm. uh, we can treat the type of ulcer in the, uh, which is very difficult, like a diabetic foot ulcer, which is known to be very uh, complicated mm -hmm. and sometimes very chronic. Mm -hmm. And when it's very severe, it can lead to amputation yeah. of the limb. Yeah. Uh, we find our product there tend to be very 
effective treating the even the worst form of uh, diabetic food, food ulcer. So we are now very interested in bringing our product to that particular indication yeah. and uh, uh, through uh, uh, clinical trials mm -hmm. uh, to demonstrate its uh, uh, therapeutic uh, uh, efficacy. Okay. So those are the area we are applying. Mm -hmm. uh, now you can imagine we can apply similarly to the area like a tendon or, 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 or nerve mm -hmm. or muscle mm -hmm. or bone. Uh, in the area of uh, uh, sports medicine mm -hmm. or even just the uh, uh, orthopedic area okay. where again in that area you have uh, you worry about the scar formation which can limit the, the, the range of movement mm. or the function of the of yeah. the of the extremities uh, we are we are hoping to to improve that wound healing process by reducing the pain to facilitate uh, physical therapies, mm -hmm. and then hopefully in the end, the result is favorable without uh, 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 much uh, uh, scarring, which is uh, observed in the adult wound healing. 